what's good youtube we're back again with another video and in this video i'm going to show you my nba vintage jersey collection these are all going to be authentic jerseys no swing mans if i added swing mans to this video this video would be much much longer so i'm just going to do authentic jerseys i didn't realize how many vintage authentic jerseys i have in the collection of course you know i do vintage jerseys i do michelin s jerseys I do uh, newer jerseys, so I have a pretty wide spectrum when it comes to jerseys as far as vintage, Michelin S, newer jerseys, newer Nike jerseys, or newer authentic jerseys in general. So with that being said, this is vintage only. And when I say vintage, I'm going to go uh, uh, Revolution 30 era all the way back to the champion days. So 1990s champion to the Revolution 30 jerseys. The Revolution 30 jerseys are... What seems like many years ago, Adidas stopped producing NBA jerseys in the 2016 and 17 season. So that is where I'm stopping the vintage jerseys. You don't see a lot of Revolution 30 jerseys. Again, this is going to be all authentics. I do have a shitload of Swingman Nike jerseys from way back in the day that I just don't want to include because, again, this video will be much longer than what it already is. But it's a dope video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's fire. And we're going to go through all of these jerseys together. All right. Let's get on with this video. All right. So first jersey I'm going to show you is you guys seen these jerseys in my collection before. You had the authentic Revolution 30 jerseys. This is the heat. This is the mesh number one. There's two different versions of the authentic Rev 30 jerseys. There's one with the mesh numbers that you see here. This is what the players actually wore on court. And then there's another one, and I'm going to show you one of those a little bit later. There's actually another jersey variation that doesn't have the mesh numbers. It has like a fake mesh numbers, and we're going to get into that a little bit more. But we're going to start this video off with two authentic LeBron James Miami Heat jerseys from 2011. These jerseys are from that time period. So this would be him going to the Heat in his first year, and these jerseys were made. Boom. All right. I don't know where I'm going to put these jerseys, so I may just have to put them somewhere behind me for the moment and then we have an authentic all-star jersey by lebron james this is such a classic jersey i did a review on this jersey and there's so much detail to this jersey this is the 2005 all-star game jersey this is in fact lebron's first all-star game fantastic jersey i would love to collect all the 2000 all-star game jerseys from 2005 until 2010 11 they had some really nice all-star game jerseys so difficult to find inauthentic nowadays so definitely glad to have this in the rotation so we have lebron i'm trying to keep the players together so it's not all over the place so i'm trying to put lebron's with lebron stuff and then you have a throwback jersey this is a reebok classic jersey Again, such a nice, nice jersey. Great quality. Reebok made some really great jerseys back in the day. And this is the throwback authentic from, I believe this is either 2004 or 2005. So remember I mentioned earlier that the Revolution 30 jerseys have two different versions of authentic jerseys. This is the other version of the authentic jersey. You have the 23 without the mesh numbers, the Cavaliers and where it needs to be. But this is what the other version looks like without the mesh numbers. So that is that. All right. Now we're going old school Reebok back again with the Reebok jerseys. You have the LeBron James home edition. You had that super nice Cavaliers done nicely. And I believe this is the 2004-05 season. And you see the jock tag done correctly. The James in the back done correctly. So definitely a dope jersey. And yeah, nice to have in the collection for sure. We go to... Kobe Bryant. Both jerseys are from the 2006 season. 
2006 into 2007. This would be the first season in which Kobe would wear 24. So you have the Lakers 24 in the white. You have the jock tag as well right here. Done correctly. And then you have the purple version. And again, you had that jock tag done correctly. If you ever wondered what year that these jerseys were produced in, Reebok and Adidas always tend to put the year on this neck tag here. So you can see where it is. And if you can see it here, it says 06. So that is the two Kobe Bryant authentic jerseys that I have from Adidas. First up to bat, the champion 1996-97 year. This is such a dope jersey. Actually kiss cut, double stitched. Such a dope, dope jersey. Old school. You have the patch on the gold emblem. I would love to collect the red and the white as well as the Nike versions from his last season. So 97-98 with the orange box logo. I would love to collect the red and the black as well. Those jerseys tend to go for about four to five hundred dollars. But this is the champion authentic jersey right here for you guys. I'm starting to run out of space where to put these things. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it bulls for you guys just to have some sort of organization. But we have the Nike 84 to 2003 series. You see the jock tag here. This is the script version of the rookie jersey, screen printed on really nice so this jock tag right now this jock tag and i'm going to show you what the 97 98 jock tag looks like but this jock tag was from 99 2000 99 2000 nike went with this jock tag nike only had licenses to a couple of teams during the late 90s to the early 2000s and the bulls were one of them and they went to this jock tag in 99 and 2000 and then I'm going to show you what the original or what the first jock tag on the Nike Authentics looked like. And I'll show you that a little bit later. All right. So you have another red Nike Authentic Jordan jersey done really, really nicely. I mean, just really nice material and done correctly. And Mitchell and S does such a great job, honestly, on recreating these jerseys. But it is nice to have the original version of the jersey. So definitely a dope, dope jersey. This is a custom-made jersey. So from 99 to about 2001, 2002, you can create Michael Jordan uh, authentic jerseys right from NBA.com. And it was a great thing to have until Nike started to smarten up and said, hey, listen, we can make money off of these Jordan jerseys. But either way, they switched to the 8403 series. But this was what the original drop tags look when you created a custom, authentic Michael Jordan jersey. So that is that. So I have another custom, authentic jersey. This one, I took the jock tag off not too long ago, only because there was some markings on the jock tag and it annoyed me. This is actually a size 48. So it's the same thing as you just previously saw, but this is the first jersey that I ever bought when I was a young, slender lad, and I just got into jerseys. This is the first red jersey I ever bought. So yeah, this was one of those jerseys where it's gonna stay in my collection forever, but it had some markings on the jock tag. I don't know if the person who had it before me did it or what, but it was a little weird. So I decided to just take the jock tag off. It's still a clean look, still wearable, obviously. Still fits me to this day, surprisingly. But yeah, so that's the reason why there's no jock tag, but this is a Nike authentic jersey from back in the day. Okay, so I mentioned earlier about the orange jock tag. These you will see in the 97, 98 season, 98, 99 season. After that, this jock tag no longer existed. And you have the orange jock tag right here. This is an original 98 jersey. Such a phenomenal Nike jersey. You can even see the orange tag is just slightly different. A lot more white around the border versus the ones I just showed you. But yeah, this is such a clean jersey. This is my first eBay purchase Jordan jersey from 
God knows when, 2002 maybe, or 2001, whenever eBay first came out, that is that jersey. Okay. So I'm going to try to move this video along as quickly as possible. I have a shitload of jerseys for you guys, and I'm not even a quarter done yet. So we have some Nike vintage Michael Jordan jerseys. This is the rookie from the 8403 series. Again, you had that Nike jock tag screen print. They did it incorrectly. Mitchell and S did it correctly, so that's a good thing. Then you have, let me put this right here. And then you have 245 jerseys. Really, really well done. One of them is a custom. One of them is the 8403 series. This is the custom right here, done nicely. Again, super dope, very clean. They're identical in pretty much every way. A little bit different in the Jordan size, but again, this is, this is Nike Vintage, dope stuff right here. This one's a size 52, this one's a size 48. If you guys are wondering, I probably can squeeze into this one but this one definitely fits me a lot nicer. So that's why I have both of them. So let's go on to the other Nike Jordan jerseys we have left. Nike was still doing jerseys for the NBA. Washington Bullets was one of the teams that, that they were doing the NBA jerseys for. These are authentics from that era. These aren't custom maids. These are so dope in my opinion. You have the throwback Bullets jersey. Seeing Mike in this jersey, I think this is going to be a classic jersey later on, especially if Mitchell and Ness never replicates this jersey. Of course, there's some issues with Mike and the Bullets. I think personally, it's Mike not wanting to ever fucking deal with the Washington Bullets or the Washington Wizards because he feels like they did him dirty. Then there's other rumors that Mitchell and Ness didn't have the licensing for the Wizards. But now that we know that they're doing a John Wall jersey and they have Washington Wizards shorts, it's not a Wizards thing. It's probably a Jordan thing. And he doesn't want any of his jerseys from the Wizards to be replicated. This is an authentic Nike Wizards jersey, classic jersey. And then you have the white one. Out of the white and the blue, I think the white probably is my favorite. But they're both very dope. So that is my Jordan vintage stuff. We will now go to other players. And let me just kind of get this thing all situated real quick so give me a second i'm gonna try to reorganize everything so i have more space for the jerseys i'm gonna show you next all right be right back all right so now we're back for part two of the authentic nike vintage jersey collection so i just showed you my michael jordan stuff my lebron stuff my kobe stuff we're gonna show you now uh, the other players, all right? Now, most of these jerseys you may know I have, you may not know I have. I don't really show these jerseys too often. You may have seen them on my Instagram once in a while. But again, these aren't jerseys I really show on video. And let's go, all right? Let's start with this vintage Nike piece, beautiful Vince Carter jersey, I mean, such a nice jersey. You have the dry fit on the side. Such a dope jersey. So that is one. Uh, Revolution 30 jersey by the Knicks, Carmelo Anthony. This is, again, the one without the mesh numbers, as you can see there. But definitely an authentic jersey piece. These were cheaper. I don't know how much cheaper they were than the mesh number jerseys. I know the mesh number jerseys were really expensive. So anywhere from $300 to even $400. And I believe these were much more affordable, probably in the $250, $275 range. But that is Carmelo Anthony Rev 30. This is a champion vintage Jason Kidd jersey from the Suns days. Blonde hair Jason Kidd. Definitely a dope jersey. You had the old school 32 on the back. You had the double jock tag. So that is that. This one is a Rev 30 Steph Curry. Old school again. This is the one without the mesh numbers. 
authentic, super sick, super dope on this one. We get to AI. This is a classic, classic jersey for sure. You have the old school filler. I believe Mitchell and S did a uh, did the authentic and the swingman version of the Iverson, but definitely dope. Goes with all his dope white and red Reebok questions. This is a rare one because during this season he actually got traded to the Nuggets. So there's probably not many of the Adidas runs authentics. But as you can see, Adidas made the Philadelphia, the Iverson jersey. I think I got this for like $90. Of course, I would like a Reebok version of this. But to have an authentic for $90 is pretty much a steal, especially at, in this condition. So you have the 76s in that black. And then... One of my favorites. Now, there are two versions of the blue jersey. There's the mesh version that they wore for this. It was the 99 season. And then they went to this one, I believe, um, right after. Or this one was first, and they went to the mesh version. I believe the mesh version was first. This one was the one that came out after. But this is a champion, authentic Allen Iverson. Again, you got that nice, nice patching. This is my favorite patchwork on an NBA jersey is just so nice with the dazzle and the stitching and then you had the Iverson nice and clean this one is without the borders so this one's so fire to me uh great great phenomenal jersey great condition so that is the Iverson collection for the vintage stuff now we got Nike Duncan Timmer greatest power forward of all time triple stitched on the back so you have a silver white and then black layering duncan in that single stitched you have the dry fit nike tag that you would see here a little bit of a discoloring here which eventually when i do decide to wear this jersey i would definitely clean that spot and now we're going to go to some of my favorite uh jason kidd jerseys in my collection this is all his net stuff. So this is some of my favorite stuff. Jason Kidd being probably my favorite point guard of all time. You had the New Jersey Nets in that Navy with the dazzle on the twill. Super clean. Of course, now in Brooklyn. Shout out to Brooklyn Kid. So this is fire. But then we have, and this is a piece I've been looking at for such a long time, but I was waiting for the right price. And I got this for about a hundred bucks. You have the old school Nets jersey with the stars on the side. This is what Dr. J and them were wearing. Uh, this is so dope. This is the Reebok version made in Korea. Such a dope jersey. Fire, fire. I mean, dope. You got the kid in the back. So definitely clean. Super glad to have this in the collection for sure. This net jersey right here. And then we have the white one, which is probably my favorite out of these bunch of the Nets Jason Kidd jerseys. Really because of the dazzle on the five and the outline on the Nets. And then they also put this perforation design on the jersey, which I've never seen before until this jersey and uh you know let's take a look at the jock tag reebok made in korea so definitely a sick sick jersey shout out to the nets and then another gem which i waited to get a great discount or a great price for is this new jersey nets in the alternate gray so sick Really nice. I remember the Jordans that came out for this colorway. So Jordan, I believe it was the, the 16 or the 19, one or the other, um, had a SC version that to me was made specifically for this jersey. And you had the dual jock tag champion, sick jersey, Jason Kidd. 
take a look at the detail on the New Jersey with the ball. They got to bring that logo back, man. Bring that logo back with BK with the ball. That would be fire. And I got to change the hanger on this one. It is this Grant Hill Authentic Nike. Again, this is the orange box logo. So this is definitely from, from the 97, 98 era or the 98, 99. And as you guys can see, this says 97. Let me see if I could focus on that. All right, so it's the 97, 98 season that this jersey's from. Detroit being one of the few teams that had the Nike contract. So again, this is probably my favorite Pistons jersey. All right, so you have that one. You have a throwback. I just got this not too long ago for 60 bucks. Jermaine O'Neal, if you guys saw the recent uh, Netflix documentary, great documentary. Jermaine O'Neal was, uh, I think, a six-time All-Star. And you've seen a lot of teams in the 70s with this style. I believe the Hawks uh, was one of those teams. The Pacers was another one of those teams. And I believe there was another team that had this kind of design coming down and then you have the jock tag of course Jermaine O'Neal this is definitely a classic jersey this one I just got it's one of my favorite players from the 90s my brother wanted me to patent my game behind John Stockton and the reason why is he thought that I could be a good point guard and he was the point guard you wanted to be like in the 90s, but this is my favorite, maybe one of my favorite 90s jerseys is this mountain jersey. You have so much quality stitching. This is supplemented in the jersey, not a screen print. And then the jazz, if I could show it to you guys a little closer, you have like a extra layer of stitching on the blue. It's like the snow is on the jazz. I mean, so fire. And then the 12, you have that like teal green with the brown and the white Stockton and single stitched Reebok. Classic jersey. I've been wanting this jersey for such a long time. So to finally get it was so dope. And I didn't want Carl Malone because Carl Malone seems to have some suspect off-field uh, decision making. So I didn't really want Carl Malone, but... I got John Stockton. We're going to go with the Brooklyn boy, Stefan Marbury. That number three, Timberwolves. And my favorite part of this jersey is the trim. It's so, so sick to put a design on the trim. This is fire. Definitely dope. I wear these with my Jordan 11 Lowe's snakeskin. It's almost like the same exact color to these, so... Definitely fire for sure. This is my fourth favorite player of all time. Uh, very close to three, but I would say he's probably my fourth favorite player of all time. You have Orlando Magic, Tracy McGrady. They are rocking the throwback jersey as well. That stitched, double stitched jersey. Stitched on the Orlando. So the old school jerseys, the Orlando actually wasn't stitched. It was like a screen print. And the only thing that was stitched was the star. But in the later days for the Reebok era, they stitched the whole thing. So that is dope for sure. And keeping it Orlando, T-Max last year in Orlando, you have the Orlando jersey. They went to a newer style jersey. Um, they got rid of the Stars, which was my favorite jersey during that time period. But you had the Dazzled on the Star. You had the Dazzled around the outline on the Orlando. Such a nice jersey still. Um, would like to get the white one to kind of finish his collection for the Orlando Magic stuff. And then last but not least for T-Mac... This is one of the illest jerseys, not a jersey you see every day. You have the supplemented stars, magic jersey, double jock tag. So nice, man. This is 
This is such a nice, nice jersey. Vintage Orlando T Mac. Killer, killer jersey. So I mentioned T Mac is my fourth favorite player of all time. Now we're going to get to my third favorite player of all time. It's Flash D Wade in that authentic Reebok. This is the year he would actually win the NBA title, his first NBA title out of three. You have the 05. He won in the 05 06 season. So you have the 05 for D Wade. Really nice with the dazzled material. Uh, you know, just really great, fantastic jersey, great condition. And then we're not slowing down with Dwayne Wade. We got the white version of the D Wade again in that Reebok classic, classic jersey. Which year is this from? This is from the 06 season, the 06 right there. So definitely a dope, dope jersey. And then we get to the Adidas version. This is the alternate red of the Dwayne Wade. So you have this one for sure is dope. Dazzled material again. Eventually they'll get away from the dazzle material once they go uh, Revolution 30 jerseys. But the dazzle material was an interesting era. Uh, you had the Nuggets for sure who had this style, the Miami Heat. So there was a couple of teams that that took this this style of jersey. All right. So we're down to the last two jerseys. Thank you for everybody who's tuned in. You guys have been holding it down for me. I've been showing you these dope ass jerseys, great jerseys in general. So we have Shaq jersey for you guys. This is the 2000 jersey and it's a beauty, man. You have the dry fit material. You have the Nike jock tag. And again, these jock tags started in the 99-2000 season. And this is the first season in which the Lakers would go to the wishbone jerseys and they would win their championships. So this is such a classic, classic jersey. Nike authentic. You don't get much nicer than this when it comes to Nike authentic jerseys. So you have the Shaq right here. And then the last jersey I'm going to show you guys. This one's a banger. This one's so dope. Uh, man, I wish I can get a Kobe in this colorway uh, for the Nike Authentic. I have the Mitchell and S. But this is the script Shaq Daddy and that Nike. Of course, you have the dry fit material tag on this. But man, such a sick, sick jersey. Drop shadow with the Lakers old school script jersey. This is my favorite Lakers jersey, I think, ever at this point, man. This is such a classic jersey for sure. So, yeah, glad to have this in the collection, no doubt. Uh, such a dope jersey. Again, I'm going to keep on repeating myself, but such a sick jersey. So, that is it, man. I don't know how many jerseys this is. In general, uh, we got a shitload of jerseys. Maybe off the top of my head, 40 jerseys I just showed you guys. But this is my vintage NBA jersey collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm always happy to shoot these videos for you guys and just show you jersey content. And on that note, you know what to do. We out, man. Peace.